Now I'm going to just show you this little video of what we did yesterday drawing whales and today we're going to draw dolphins. So sit back, relax, enjoy the drawing. We're going to take some photographs that I've got on the screen and of dolphins and I'm going to use this Paper Pro app to allow me to really loosen up with the drawing style. And uh, it should look really great on our store and all our little products. So I'm gonna quickly draw this killer whale, which I think is also a type of dolphin. So I'm gonna draw that one for you and a whole load of others. So let's get stuck in to the design. So let's go into this app here and I'm going to take a black and we're using what we call a filler and let's start with the fin. And this is going to be one of the designs for our shop. And it's quite fun sharing how we do our designs. Okay, so you can see that that's an awesome app. It allows me to hold down the pen. I'm just making this purple just for now. It will be white and it fills in the color for me. And it does these wonderful little sort of rough designs. So I think you can see those little spots and roughness and overlay. And it's awesome because I can do some layers like I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna put on a, a white hair and then there's a bit of a white hair. And then I want to just highlight. So this purple now becomes like a shadow of the belly. So now we've got a little bit, bit of detail on our killer whale. And I'm going to cut him out and shrink him down and move him to one side so that you can see the other dolphins that I'm going to draw for you, okay? And also this little outline is very, let me get back, does it? I'll do it again, sorry, I didn't like it. I'm going to leave some of this white edging because on the products you need a transparent background so if the t-shirt if this goes on a t-shirt and it's black you'll have a an outline I'll just shrink it down a bit here you'll have a nice little white outline which looks looks great too so let me go and do another dolphin now I'm looking on my screen and what's so awesome is that there are actually pink dolphins so I'm going to do a pink dolphin and I want to do him facing the other way. So let's try this now. Okay, and he's got a funny little bump. And of course we want a little bit of motion. So they're quite fat um, dolphins. I never thought of it, that they were fat things with small heads, but they're all different. I might just give this one a bit more of a... So this one is an Indo-Pacific dolphin. Very cute. So I'm actually going to give him a little darker belly. Just to accentuate his beautiful shape. Go. 
Hello from Paris. How awesome. Very international audience. <laughs> I love all the likes while I'm drawing. It's very encouraging. So now we've got our Indo-Pacific uh, dolphin, and I'll just move him up a bit. You see how simple they are. We're not trying to do anything fancy. What I love is you're learning as you're drawing. I do love dolphins and I have been very lucky to swim with them. I'm going to do a slightly paler blue dolphin. This one is, it's actually white and very similar to the uh, killer whale. This one's called a commissons dolphin. I'm gonna do them quite big down here. So this one, You're going to be wondering what I'm doing, but I'm actually doing this on purpose. Sorry. I'm <laughs> Sorry. I don't want that to happen. I thought I had the filler. Let's go back. There we go. I thought that was on. Okay, that, I've got the right color. Let me start again. So this one I'm gonna have a bit of fun with, and I'm trying to do this so that I'm being forced to be experimental. Okay, so I'm gonna add white. And this is also a bit of fun for you to watch too. And you'll see what I'm up to in a minute. I love how dolphins have a very specific sort of tail and this one has got a tiny head gorgeous little head and that is your other dolphin and I'm not going to do any more to it so I think we've got Marco hello hi Kirsty so wonderful drawing and chatting. There we go. So I'm going to move my dolphin there. Right, press the right button that time. Okay, and I love these colors, these pale blue. So I'm going to do another one because this is a design. So I have to be very careful. We got Alex Darling. <laughs> um, I don't understand the message, but uh, <laughs> thanks for writing in. Okay, I'm going to draw now for you an Irrawaddy dolphin. Let's see how we do this one. This one looks more like a whale. And I think we're there. Love that shape. I'm going to add a little bit of belly, white of the belly here. And then let's do a little lighter color here. This one has a little bit of detail. sitting at the top of the head. And a much darker fin, I think. There we go. Hello, Dave. And please tell me where you're all from. It's such fun to find out what parts of the world you're watching. This one has a 
gorgeous little eye. And a little bit of shadow on the tail here, on the fin, sorry. And a little triangle there. So I'm just being very creative, just messing around. I'm gonna put a line along the bottom here. There we go. So that one's pretty simple and we're going to cut him out and move him over. And is that bees, Je Jenny, Jenny? Hello. Oops, let me do that again. I'm gonna start again. I'm trying not to put my hand too much over the drawing so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I love this app, Paper Pro. I think we need to do another dolphin that is facing the other way. So let's have a look. So I think a dark gray, I like that color. And we've got the striped dolphin or the Fraser dolphin. I'm gonna do the Fraser dolphin because he's awesome. And he has a tiny head. Let me start again. We got Claudette. Hello, thanks for joining. And now we're gonna do the fin. Fin's very different on this one. And tiny little fin there. So that's quite a stunning dolphin. It's got a little bit of white here. You notice how I'm keeping a little bit of the um, line here and then I'm just going to continue. It has a stripe down the side as well. I'm going to put black line along the side. Start again. This one's a very sort of looks like it's got go faster stripes on it. And actually the fin is black. And I'm just going to do another cool black line here. Let's get the tail a darker color. So I'm very happy with that. Is that Cal's? Very nice to meet you. And now I need to get, now we can make these all different sizes, maybe going that way. And now I'm going to do another pink one. And we've got a slightly less pink. And that would be the probably the final design. So let me do, actually I'll do one more up here. And that fin and slightly fatter body. So that's quite cute. I mean, I'll make it a bit smaller. Let's do that one like that. And then what shall we do? They've got uh, one last one. I might do a, a Rissos dolphin. So I hope some of you are <laughs> dolphin experts. You're probably going, what is that? Um, lovely. Oh, Kirsten's from France. 
Um, fantastic. So we've got some French folks. Um, actually, there's a... I wonder if they've got dolphins on the Seine. I think they do. I think they finally have dolphins in the Seine and also in the Thames. There we go. I'm going to add some lighter colors to this little dolphin. And I'm going to show you how we put this together as a print. So I'll do that every time with my live tutorials. So I'm just going to draw a little eye and a little detail here and I'll do this little detail. And there we go, we've got our, our other dolphin. So here's our design. I'm going to take this now and I'm going to move it into my lovely Procreate. So here we go. I'm going to move it into Procreate. And then we go into Procreate. This is one of my old designs. And here she is. So th the reason why I move it into Procreate, if you've been watching any of these art demos, is that I can do a lot more to it. Um, so I'm just going to show you. So what I do is I cut each one out. And then I can move it around. And I'm going to cut and paste. And you can see now that I've got one of the dolphins in this box here. And I go back and I'm going to do the killer whale. And we've got Latanzi 3. Thank you for joining. Where are you from? Sounds exotic, your name. Right, cut and paste, which means it's now in this little box up here. And I'm gonna get that to disappear. And I'm gonna do this, if you can bear with me, for each one. It's so nice drawing, even though I'm sort of talking to myself. It's so nice to see all these lovely messages. Selena, nice to meet you. Such a lovely crowd as well. Just so nice to chat while I'm drawing. Cut and paste, and there it is up at the top. And you'll see the magic happening in a minute. And this roughness is really what makes, I'll do that again, I messed that up. The roughness is what makes it more natural. So we don't want it to be perfect. Okay. And that's heart-shaped shalom. Oh, that's very, very nice. Okay. So... 
let's get these quickly done so you don't fall asleep. Okay, cut and paste. Procreate is an awesome app. Little bit tricky to get to know, but put in the effort and the best thing about it is once you get the app, it's a little bit expensive, but it's worth it. Um, once you've got it, you can literally learn everything through all their amazing five minute videos. So there's not a button on here that um, you won't know by the end of it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I wanna show you, I show this to everyone. Imagine this uh, base, I'm gonna change the color to this. Okay, so can you see that these images are now not on a white background and they are cut out. So this is the little trick that I'm gonna show you. So we actually want the background to be transparent. You can see that. Hopefully you can't see the reflection up my nose. <laughs> and we're gonna move these around, but it's very important that the background is see-through because when that gets printed onto a t-shirt that's gray or uh, black, you don't wanna have a white box. So that would be very bad. So that is what you would literally have. You'd have the whole box on the t-shirt. You don't want that. You want the images on the t-shirt and the gray or whatever color t-shirt you buy. So here we go. We're going to start moving these around and have some fun with them. So I'm going to move that one there. And I am literally just messing about. Um, I want this one to go maybe down there. Uh, that one, let's put it there. That one we're going to put maybe a bit bigger, turn down a bit. Can you see how we're just having a bit of fun with it? Uh, I can even, if I want, and I think I might, twist this one round by pressing this flip horizontal button. Let's see if that works. If I don't like it, I can change it. I might make uh, my killer whale just a bit bigger. And uh, I'm going to swap it with that one. Do you see how it works? It's absolute magic. Okay, so I'm not quite there yet, but we're starting to get a nice balanced image. A little bit more tweaking. Do we want it going down? No, I don't like that. Maybe a bit smaller as well. I like these little pink ones. I might include it again somewhere else. Let's copy that. And I'm gonna paste it. Okay. And maybe I'll flip that one round. Stick it there. You can do whatever you want. You see how it works, it's awesome. Uh, I can see someone has joined us. Hello. I might move this a little bit. And I think I want my, this one, I'm gonna stick down at the bottom. and flip it. Yeah, we're getting there. I like that. I think I'm just gonna make my killer whale a little bit bigger. There we go. And he's also gonna flip. 
and I'll have them going a bit like that. How does that look? All right, so we've now got our image and I'm going to put that on the shop. Sorry for the fingerprints. <laughs> Hello, uh, Calkil Dalmar, 37, lovely to meet you. Okay, so we've got our image and um, I will put that onto our shop and you should see that in maybe half an hour's time. Thanks for joining me and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.